I knew they were T-Rex beds. I didn't really think that I would walk into a mummy zone, but that's what we ended up doing. Behind me is this juvenile duckbill. You can see the rib cage, the skin wrinkling over the rib cage, and this crest down here. It's uh, six, eight inches tall. This, by the way, is a juvenile, the first juvenile mummy. We call them mummies. And what we wanted to find out is the question that's probably on everybody's mind, which is, is that real skin? If it's not real skin, how do they get preserved for 66 million years to give us our first full picture of what a dinosaur would look like in life? And, uh, and, and the answer was actually rather surprising. I mean, it, it turns out to be very appropriate for Halloween. It's a clay mask that came over the skin, very thin, almost like the clay you put on your face to clean it. And uh, the skin then dissolved away, the bones fossilized, we're left with this clay layer that preserves all the detail of the skin underneath. But to, to preserve it, you've got to prepare, you've got to get your Michelangelo preparators to go in there and just pick off sand grain by sand grain and leave the clay. But when you look close, you'll see the frill, that goes across the back, you'll see wrinkles of skin, scales, and you'll see hooves on the hind feet. Catch the latest on this story at Fox 32 on Fox Local.